Step nine says, made direct amends to such people wherever possible, except when to do so would injure them or others. Have you ever heard this phrase? And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. You probably recognize this as a quote from the Lord's Prayer. I had said this prayer hundreds of times throughout my life, but I didn't really understand what the sentence meant. In the 12 step program, I learned that it meant that you're asking God to forgive you, but you're also pledging to forgive people who've done something to you. I believe it means that for you to receive forgiveness, you have to first be willing to grant forgiveness to others. Another interesting interpretation of that same sentence is, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Maybe it's time that you completely release another person from anything you think he or she might owe you, like an apology. To obtain peace in your outer world, you have to make peace with yourself in your inner world. Forgiveness is a critical component of making amends. Without forgiveness, trying to make an amend is a hollow effort. Author Melanie Evans put it this way, forgiveness is an essential ingredient to releasing and letting go of the past and eliminating the need to recreate pain in your life, which is reflected in your relationships with others. It means regaining yourself and being free to create the life you want, which includes love, success, and happiness. When you don't forgive, you carry their dysfunctions and make them your own. I also heard it put another way. Unforgiveness is the poison you drink every day, hoping that the other person will die. If there's someone you just don't think you can forgive right now, then I suggest you pray for God to help you forgive that person. If the willingness is there, God will help you accomplish it. When I made my list of those I had harmed, I really didn't think I had harmed very many people. But over the next several days, more and more names and faces came to my mind. It didn't take long for my list to grow. When I read the list, I felt intimidation, shame, and dread. I really didn't want to do step nine, but I knew I had to. I also realized quickly that I had no business trying to attempt this alone. You really do not need to attempt this step without discussing each person on your list with your sponsor before taking any action. Remember, you're not imposing on your sponsor with this difficult step. When your sponsor helps you, it is helping him or her get out of themselves and maintain their sobriety. You and your sponsor will probably find that the people on your list will fall into one of four categories. First are those who ought to be dealt with just as soon as you become reasonably confident that you can maintain your sobriety when you make the amend. You may have a pretty good idea about who they may be, but your sponsor will help you make these decisions. Second will be the people to whom you can only make partial restitution. You can't buy your own peace of mind at the expense of others. Because if you tell them everything, it may do more harm than good. Spewing out information that a person may not need to know just to get it off your chest is not the purpose of this step. Making an amend is not just about you feeling better. It's about trying to do something positive for the other person if possible. The third category are cases where action needs to be deferred. Um, you may not be ready to make certain amends immediately. Uh, you may need more time to mature in the 12-step program or for other reasons, the timing may not be correct to make that particular amend. And finally, there will be situations where you'll never be able to make direct personal contact at all. An example would be um, someone that you wanted to make an amend to that's deceased. Uh, in this case, your sponsor may direct you to write a letter to that person, uh, read it at the graveside and dispose of the letter. You're not going to have any idea how these people may respond to you. The first amend that you make may turn out to be a very positive experience and should provide some encouragement to move to the next person on your list. 
But don't expect everybody that you make an amend to to receive you warmly and respond with gratitude and a big hug. You have no control over this. Your job is to do the best you can to lay your cards on the table, admit your part, and try to set things right. The best way to keep from getting your feelings hurt is to avoid predicting how anyone may react. Don't allow your prediction of their response to cause you to procrastinate. The sooner you get this over with, the better you're gonna feel. Your goal is to learn how to travel lightly by shedding all your envies, jealousies, unforgiveness, selfishness, and fears. When you hold someone responsible for what you experience, you're carrying around negative energy. In other words, you don't want to carry the baggage of that experience around with you any longer. When you discharge the emotions surrounding one of these difficult apologies, you take the power away from that situation to keep you stuck in the past. I like what the Dalai Lama has to say about this whole process. He says, all major religious traditions carry basically the same message, that love, compassion, and forgiveness should be a part of our daily lives. And from the very core of our being, we desire contentment. He said that he has found that the more you care for the happiness of others, the greater is your own sense of well-being. Cultivating close, warm-hearted feelings for others automatically puts your mind at ease. It helps remove whatever fears and insecurities you may have and give you strength to cope with any obstacles you encounter. It's the principal source of success in life. So our primary purpose in this life is to help others. And if you can't help them, at least don't hurt them. Completing step nine helps you realize that your real purpose is to make yourself fit to be of maximum service to God and to the people that you come in contact with. You are going to find that the more you get out of yourself, the happier you're going to be.